Hi, um. Well, I don't think anyone's there. We've got Eggsy and Brent in his chuka, uh, live from uh, Nairobi. And um, just a quick update on everyone. I'm going to take a few questions and stuff while we're here. You can see uh, the weather's been quite chilly, actually, and um, the showers are beyond our complications. So both Zanda and I have had to have cold showers, um, which has uh, been the reason I'm wearing a blanket. It's, it's actually the, the, the temperature is actually quite quite nice. Um, <laughs> I'd say it's probably about 24. Oh, we've only got Jamie and Louise. Oh, no, 10 other people, but hi, Jamie. Hi, Louise. Hi, uh, Stephen. Yeah, and um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite exciting, obviously. And uh, Nairobi's changed in an incredible amount. I think the last time I was in Nairobi was in 2006 or 2007. And uh, it's definitely a lot more developed. And um, the road network is, uh, hi, Sean, uh, a lot better uh, than it used to be. I mean, it used to take from the airport to get to Karen, where we are now. Uh, hi, hi, Gemma. Uh, it used to take us about two and a half hours. Um, hi, Marianne. Hi, Angela. Um, it used to take us about two and a half hours. It took us 25 minutes. Yeah. Um, we had a little snafu in the, the airport <laughs> last night. Uh, we spend up, end up spending a few more hours than intended. Um, the ATMs uh, were out of order and wouldn't accept our card when we were paying for our visas. Uh, so um, we ended up spending a long time <laughs> in the airport and some negotiation. Hi, Rob. Hi, Karen. Um, and uh, anyway, Eggsy is now filming a beside, beside, behind the scenes of me uh, talking to everyone here. Um, uh, Sean, when are we going on air? Well, Sean, we're going to hopefully soon, but we've obviously got to get down to camp um, as soon as possible. Um, we've already had a walk through to uh, the, where the vehicles are, all the new cars. Oh, no, I didn't get a haircut. It's just uh, wet and I just jumped out of the shower. So we, early this morning, uh, we went, hi, Bay from Cape Town. Um, hi, Josh. Um, Josh uh, Rogers there is a very good bird-watching friend of mine from Hoots Bay. And, uh, well, it's going to be a while till I'm back in, in Hoots Bay, Josh. Um, so, yeah, so basically tomorrow, the theory is, in theory, um, all these things work um, different at different times. Uh, Zander and I will be leaving. I won't leave at 3 a.m., uh, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to go see if the, the vehicles are, are, are ready. They should be ready. The guys should have started working on them again now. We've already gone to check on them. We're just waiting for Connor. Um, and then we're going to head back to, to go look at the vehicles. So I thought I'd just say hi to everyone um, before we headed back up. Oh, is it starting to rain? So it, we've had a little bit of rain. I know someone was asking. Hi, Kerry. Hi, Byron. Um, um, so... We're hoping that uh, the vehicles will be ready and we can uh, get going early, early tomorrow morning. And um, and we're going to head down there, hopefully at 3. Oh, oh, Connor. Hey, there we go. Connor, come say hello to everyone. We're alive. Say hi, Con. How many people? Um, how many people? 86 people. Oh. But, yeah. There's Tristan. What did Tristan say? Tristan's probably being rude. Yes, he is. Brentley Numpty. I knew Tristan <laughs> was going to be rude. Um uh, oh, there we go. Who was that? Lisa, which park will we be filming from? We will be filming, uh, we'll be based in the Mara Triangle, but we will be filming both the, in, the, in the Mara National Park and uh, the Mara Triangle. So, very exciting. So, of course, um, I think for now you're going to be getting quite a little, up, a few updates like this uh, till we can get everything sorted. So, um, this is the first crew in here. Connor is pointing at the sky saying, the sun is shining, but it's raining. So, it's the monkey's wedding. And... Um, Hi, Jenny. Hi, Guido. Oh, let me just... Oh, there we go. Uh, hi, Ross. Hi, Julie. Um, but, yeah, so we're hoping early morning. It's, it's, it's only about 290 kilometers. Um, we'll, I'll drive from, from here uh, to, to Agama Mara, which is the lodge we're going to be based at. And, uh, Kim, yes, our drives will still be on Safari Lite. Just quickly there. Um... Julian, when do the Mara drives actually start? Well, uh, hopefully by, by the middle of the month, uh, we should be uh, having a few drives there. And uh, yeah, well, let me just let me let me refocus again. So we're going to hopefully drive to about 290 kilometers, uh, and it is uh, going to take us about six hours. 
road trip. Yes, Eggsy's very excited for the road Ooh. trip. There we go. Um, so we. <laughs> Valerie says, try not corrupt Collar too much. <laughs> uh, I think Connor was the one trying to corrupt us yeah. today, definitely. Um, but uh, so it's, we're going to get there, and then um, we'll see how camp is the progress of camp build is going because uh, we've obviously got a guy uh, who's down there um, and building the camp. So as soon as we're down there, we'll probably do a little Facebook live again, like this, just to keep everyone updated. Um, and uh, hi, Eggsy from Jenny. There we go. Um, there we go. Steve said he was in the Mara in September last year. It was amazing. Um, Marion, how about the other crew? So um, the crew is coming in in, in staggered. In sta <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to say that comment out loud. Um, uh, <laughs> so Sin, you're being rude. Uh, so, but as I said, uh, the crew is going to be staggered. Um, Peter Graham Vim, Vim arrives tonight at about one o'clock in the morning so we'll be in bed when they when they arrive uh, and uh hi taylor uh hi brandy um so we'll be in bed when they arrive but i'm sure they'll probably wake us up yeah uh, and and because we've got quite a bit of stuff to discuss especially if we're going to be leaving uh at three o'clock tristan says it was byron um well whoever it was um connor's not going to be impressed with you um but uh, so uh, we are. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I think Graham will be joining us later in the day. So we're hoping if we leave here at sort of 3, 4 in the morning, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, sort of ho uh, hoping to be there around 12, 1 uh, yeah, tomorrow afternoon. And Graham should be arriving around 4, 5. Mm. Um, and uh, so hopefully that'll be quite exciting. I'm quite excited for the drive. It's, it, it's, it's really interesting because, I mean, as you can see, I've got my, my, my shuka on here. It's quite chilly. Um, we're about 1,500 meters um, above sea level. And uh, so we're about five, five, and we're going up, strangely enough, towards the morrow. Even though a lot of people think it's going down. Um, oh, thanks, uh, Taylor. We miss you already. New kakoi. No, th uh, this is not a kakoi, Taylor. <laughs> this is called a shuka. Um, and it is a traditional Maasai dress, but it, it's not new. I've had this for about 10, 12 years. It normally is my blankie on my bed, but um, it's quite useful. And you can see why people in, in Kenya like to wear this, because it is, it is quite chilly. Um, Tristan is, Tristan, I don't know who, uh, whether it's Tristan or Byron who's being very rude, but uh, we, just, no, we should just tell them, stop it. Now let's, let, let's take questions from proper people, not <laughs> Safari Live staff. Um, so yeah, um, we're very excited. Obviously, it's gonna it's gonna be quite different. There's some new challenges down there, um, but it is going to be amazing. And of course, we're looking forward to getting to know all the <laughs> lions and leopards and cheetahs and other things. Um, so yeah. Oh, hello, Peanut. Um, Peanut <laughs> Lamb has joined. And uh, <laughs> okay, that is Kirsten. <laughs> Oh, who is in final control? Uh, the red really brings out your eyes. Um, that must be Kirsten. Yeah. That definitely she sounds like Kirsten. As well. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think it's because she just likes red because she's a ginger. Mm. Yeah. But um, we, Connor is, is starting to pace, which means we have to get to the workshop. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go there and, and hopefully um, we'll send some pictures while we're at the workshop and show you how stuff is. Uh, um, well, it's all exciting. Oh, hello, Peanut. Yes, yes hello, Blenty. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, very, very exciting stuff. Um, so we're going to go have a look at the new vehicles. I can't remember all their names. I think the first one we're driving, what's its name? Chiku, Chiku which I think means? Uh, canary. canary. <laughs> Chiku. The canary, which is quite strange for a dark green car <laughs> to be called Canary. Uh, canary is generally yellow, but um, it, is, it, it is one of those things. But as I said, yeah, uh, we will try to keep you updated. Of course, while we're traveling, we might not have the best um, cell reception to do these Facebook Lives and stuff like that. Uh, but um, once we're down, down and have arrived, um, we'll try to give you guys a, a heads up on what's happening. And we'll try to share pictures and videos uh, of our trip tomorrow. Yeah. Of the road trip, which Eggsy has been... Eggsy has been filming everything we do. <laughs> Literally, Connor and I don't even know, and all of a sudden there's a time lapse of us walking down the road. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. 
But guys, we've got to get going. We've got some work to do. So we can bring you the Maasai Mara live. So uh, lots of love to everyone. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. And I know you're looking at my face, but I'm about to show you something absolutely incredible. I'm just going to wait for a couple of you to join on. Um, oh, it's been a really, really busy couple of days um, and uh, hours. It literally, since I arrived in Kenya, it's, it's, it's a bit of a blur. We've been all over the place. Um, and we were initially supposed to drive down from uh, Nairobi yesterday, but the vehicle wasn't ready. Hi, Keith. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Em. And um, hello, Kirsten. And uh, unfortunately, the vehicle wasn't ready, so uh, Zander has uh, driven down today with the driver. And uh, Graham and I flew in last night because uh, we had to go do something I'd never done before. It was absolutely spectacular. And we're going to be sorting out our, our tech quite shortly, uh, hopefully, touch wood, fingers crossed, and we're going to be able to take you in a balloon. And I got to do my first ever balloon safari this morning. It was absolutely spectacular with Governor's um, balloon safaris, and we met an, an awesome balloon pilot, probably one of the most experienced balloon pilots in the, in the world. His name's David, and he, he was awesome. And we saw two different sets of lions, black rhino, elephants, and everything from the air. So absolutely incredible. Um, and uh, I thank you from Safari Live, says I need a shave. I don't think it's quite that bad yet, but I will. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Katie. Um, so I'm just going to keep rambling on a little bit. And uh, shortly, and I'm, I'm actually at our fearless leader's <laughs> luxurious room. Um, Steph, Diana, myself, Mark, uh, Zander tonight, and Viam and everyone, we're going to be staying uh, quite close to where we're building our uh, our, our camp, which is really exciting. It's going to be spectacular. And we will definitely take you through um, on a walk, uh, walk through the camp at some point um, once we get some uh, more, more of the tech and you don't have to have me um, going Blair Witch Project handheld. Um, oh, Louise says, I need to wash my face. Uh, well, I have been out in the bush all day. Literally, we were up at five this morning, went on the balloon, came back, um, we had some meetings, and then we drove all the way down, about 40 kilometers down the Mara River, and we saw five different types of lions today. Elephants everywhere, massive herds of buffalo, uh, jumbo Sheila. And okay, so enough yakking, enough looking at me. And as you can see, I'm really excited. It's absolutely incredible. I cannot wait, and I know everyone else cannot wait for you guys to come experience uh, the Mara for extended period with us, get to know the animals. And, and if, I mean, we did, 30 kilometers, five tribes of lions, and trying to figure out the dynamics is going to be absolutely spectacular. So, speaking of things spectacular, I'm going to turn the phone. Oh, fingers in the way. And just give you a swap around. So, there we go. So, we're right on uh, the edge of the escarpment. And we're looking down. Uh, so, from about there is where the Mara Triangle Conservancy starts. And um, we can drive as far as the eye can see. Um, so normally it, it's going to be incredible. So we had a pride of lions, well, we had an amazing pair of lions over here when we were in the balloon. We had a male lion over there, and we just, on our way back, missed a lion kill. They tried to kill a water buck. Oh, there's a baboon, an olive baboon. Let's see if we can see it. They're naughty. And they're very, very big in comparison. Well, they actually, well, they very, look very big. They're very fluffy. But, oh, so we, we had a lion, an almost lion kill over there at a place called Ndege Maji, which basically means a water bird. It's a really good place to go birding. We've seen rosy-throated long claw, martial eagles. So uh, it is literally paradise. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to, sorry, just turn it up so I can read some com comments from everyone. Um, hi Tracy, gorgeous, Samantha, beautiful, hi Christina, uh, do the animals ha in the Mara have names, Harold? Harold, they do, so I'm going to be going to uh, meet with some of the, the researchers and experts, and that's one of the reasons we've come up early, is to try and get a little bit of a grip on it before we go, and I'm sure we're going to learn, learn as we go along. Um... Well, Eleanor, are we going to take you on a balloon ride one day? Hope